Hello, my name is Thorsten Weiner. I'm Senior Consultant and Head of Endoscopy Department at the Evangelisches Krankenhaus Düsseldorf, Germany. Title of our current publication is Motorized Spiral Colonoscopy, a first single center feasibility trial. Colonoscopy is widely accepted as the preferred method of evaluation of the colon and for clarification of large bowel symptoms. Additionally, it has been introduced in some Western countries, for example, USA and also uh, Germany, um, for a colorectal cancer screening program. Results of recent trials uh, have shown that colonoscopy has a large potential for prevention and also early detection of colorectal cancer. A fecal intubation rate of more than 90% is a widely accepted quality parameter for colonoscopy. According to literature, up to 10% of all colonoscopies are classified to be difficult. Main reason is um, elongated sigmoid shaped um, colon or even angulation and fixation of the sigmoid colon. In these cases and these anatomical variations, intubation of the cecum can be difficult or even impossible. Performing standard colonoscopy in these patients and situations can really be difficult. When you push the endoscope, um, it tends to form loops in the sigmoid colon and this leads to only limited or even no advancement of the endoscope's tip on the one hand and on the other hand, this can cause patients inconvenience and pain. Spiroenteroscopy and spiral technique represents a completely different technique in advancing an endoscope through the bowel by actively pleating the bowel onto the endoscope's shaft by active rotation of the spiral. Spiral technique has been widely evaluated for anterograde and retrograde enteroscopy in the use with the manually driven spiral overtube. In enteroscopy, spiral rotation leads to a faster and deeper insertion of the endoscope to the small bowel. The manually driven spiral endoscope has also been evaluated for colonoscopy. It was possible to achieve a cecum intubation rate of 92% in cases that previously had been failed during standard colonoscopy. A major disadvantage of the manually driven spiral system is that you need a second endoscopist to rotate the spiral and uh, that the manual spiral overtube is really cumbersome to use. Novel motorized spiral enteroscopy has been introduced into clinical evaluation for anterograde enteroscopy in November 2015. Currently, it is evaluated in the European B-centric uh, prospective trial. Till now, more than 120 cases have been enrolled in the study. Aim of the present study was to evaluate feasibility and safety of novel motorized spiral endoscopy for diagnostic colonoscopy. Between December 2016 and January 2017, 30 patients with indication for diagnostic colonoscopy have been enrolled in this trial. Patients with prior major abdominal surgery were excluded from participation in the trial. Motorized spiral colonoscopy achieved a cecum intubation rate of 96.7%. 46% of the patients had diverticular, but only in one patient with an unexpected post inflammatory stricture of the sigmoid, it was not possible or even not attempted uh, to pass this stricture with the spiral system. In all the procedures reaching the cecum, it was successfully been possible to intubate the ileal cecal valve and inspect the distal part of the ileum. Only in one patient, external compression was necessary um, to advance the scope to the cecum. In the trial, we achieved an adenoma detection rate of 46%. All therapeutic interventions, including nine EMR procedures, could successfully be performed. During the colonoscopies, we found uh, it very useful to use the spiral to straighten the, uh, the bowel 
to inspect behind uh, the folds and to detect polyps and also to uh, stabilize the position of the endoscope uh, for therapeutic interventions. This study represents the first evaluation of the novel motorized spiral endoscope for diagnostic colonoscopy. Our data indicate that novel motorized spiral colonoscopy is feasible and safe for diagnostic colonoscopy and can help patients and endoscopists to achieve higher cecum intubation rates, especially in difficult cases, and also to facilitate and uh, even simplify therapeutic procedures. Now larger randomized controlled prospective trials are needed to compare the performance of the system uh, to the standard technique in terms of diagnostic and also therapeutic interventions. Thank you very much for listening to me.